Good morning, sis. Okay, see, why am I drinking coffee out of a frozen cup? That's the TT life right there. Yeah. Okay, what is going on, sis? You girls got done getting ready. I had to get in the shower and everything. I had to do my skincare, you know. Anyway, good morning. I'm feeling good this morning, even though the weather is disgusting. So I usually do not feel good on days like this. Um, I don't know what's going on, but I'm feeling good. You know what? When you give the Lord his time in the morning time, you feel good, you know what I mean? You know, it's just great. I painted my nails last night. You know, I gotta go to Target today and get some nail polish because I need some new stuff. So, I don't need anything, I want new stuff, but I'm taking y'all with me, okay? I'm gonna try to make this like kind of like a little bit of a vlog, but I don't really know. And I'm saying I don't really know because I don't, I don't really know. I kind of want to go to Walmart too though because they got some fire bralettes and I only wear bralettes now. Like I used to, I have so many Victoria's Secret bras that I have bought, like during the semi-annual sun and stuff and I just do not wear them because First of all, I do not like how the wire feels. So I just wear bralettes. Like that's, I've been wearing bralettes, just bralettes for over like a year now. Um, and I just didn't like how like bras, like actual bras make my chest look bigger than they actually are. And I just didn't like that. So I just wear bralettes now. But I feel like I was also insecure about like my actual chest size. Should Christians be talking about, look, I feel like that we as Christians, like if you're a Christian as well, I feel like we'd be feeling like we can't talk about certain things. But if we're ladies, we can talk about stuff like this. I feel like I was insecure about it. And so when I was wearing them, it made me feel, it made me feel more secure. But then I grew to be really secure in having smaller chest size. And I'm okay with that. And like genuinely love myself now they're uncomfortable anyway so it don't really matter anyway so yeah anyway so the last thing that i have to do with getting ready is i need to make sure i put my mask in my purse i'm trying to buy more masks nowadays because like when you only have a few you have to keep wearing them over and over again because we don't always feel like washing them but i gotta go ahead and put some perfume on and you know what my life is my life i don't want to hear anything about how i'm wearing too much perfume i honestly could care less so if you have something to say I got many haters out there. I'm gonna have haters, period. I can't stop that. But I honestly don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I like to smell good for the whole entire day. Like, I hate having to reapply um, perfume. Even though I do sometimes if I just haven't put on enough perfume. But I really like this Versace Eros Ejos. I don't really know how to even like, pronounce it, but it's cute. The bottle is really heavy. I got this off of fragrancenet.com. They have real perfumes for super cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this perfume today because I love wearing my perfume. I get a lot of compliments on how I smell good, even with having masks on nowadays. This one smells so good. A lot of people say that it doesn't last long, but to me, it lasts because i wear a lot of perfume see that's because i wear a lot of perfume it lasts see make it add up this is such a beautiful classy wonderful perfume like i feel like this is the perfume that i would suggest to everybody because i feel like everybody would like it it's not old ladyish. it's not like too sweet and young it just smells like good expensive perfume like i need to go buy another one because it's popping also another one that smells real good i'll be right back first of all all of the versace perfumes that i have smell amazing like the bright crystal the yellow diamond this dylan blue they all just smell like something that everybody could wear like i absolutely love versace perfumes like i love all of the perfumes that i have from them i think i have like four or five they're all super amazing like I just love Versace for making amazing perfumes. So the Dylan Blue is also really good I wonder if I want to mix the Dylan Blue and the Eros together because I was gonna mix it with the Burberry her What is this the blossom one? I don't know, but this one's really strong That's why I've used it a lot, but it's so strong that you don't have to use a lot Um, and I've got this a while ago and I barely even use much of it because it's so strong This is strong, but I think I want to wear my Versace Eros and then my Dylan Blue today because these two go together like Oh my gosh fine wine, baby. This one goes with the chemistry so beautiful Oh my gosh, I love it. Yes, and I have, oh my gosh, you know another one? Gucci Guilty. Oh, that's not Versace though. But I have a Gucci Guilty perfume my mom got me. Oh my gosh, it's popping. I was so excited when she got it for me because I love it. But I'm about to go ahead and head out. I don't really know what coat I want to wear. Like, I feel like I should wear one of the black coats that is in, that are in my trunk. Or I could wear that big old Sherpa coat and try to look fancy and rich, even though it was only $20. <laughs> $20, baby. I ain't wearing all that expensive stuff. I just feel like it's kind of pointless. Like, I don't care if I had a billion dollars. Like, you know, you, you want to have your few, like, little designer things. But I feel like basing your whole entire life just having designer things is pointless. That's just me, though. That's just me. Like, if you can afford it and your bills are paid, you can do what you want with your money. That's you. See, you do what you want with your life. I'm that type of person. I feel like everybody can do what they want with their life. I'm not here to tell you what you can and cannot do. I'll give some advice. And if you take it, take it or leave it, you know? But you do what you want at the end of the day. I'm gonna do my, what I want. And I just don't really like a lot, like a lot of like designer, designer things. Cause I feel like I don't wear, okay. I get tired of clothes really fast. Like I get tired of the same things. That's why I buy cheap clothes. Let's say I spent $300 on a jacket or a shirt and I don't wanna wear it anymore. That's why I don't do it. But I got this cheap $20 shirt of coat that I got from Target. 
and it makes me look really fancy. It was on sale for 50% off, so it was $20. And you know, it keeps me warm. Like $20? Like I feel like I should just... <laughs> I'm so ugly for this. Why am I doing this? But I don't wear fancy clothes anymore. Like when I get dressed up, baby, I get dressed up. I can look rich on a, in a $50 outfit, okay? But this was cheap and I, I kind of feel like I want to wear it. I'm going to wear it. Baby, I'm wearing it today. I'm going to wear what I want to wear. I drive where the rich folks are. Like, I don't drive in my own city because my, my own city, I'm sorry if you know me from back in the day, you know, our city's hood rat, period. You already know it. You already know it. I mean, if you know me, you know, like, you know me personally, you know me from my city, get real. Our city is hood rat. It is hood rat century. It is ghetto. The ghetto. But I drive out to where the rich people are and they're probably gonna be like, this, she really thinks she's rich. She really thinks she's bougie. She's can't be like us like i drive with the girls be having their little lemon coats on with a jeep and a little louis vuitton purses and louis vuitton scarves and i'm over here in a 20 dollar coat and you know it's not that i can't afford it it's just i'm not trying to keep up with the joneses because i know how to look good with no money because i grew up with no money and even though we didn't have the nicest clothes i put stuff together to make myself look nice even though there ain't no hair to flip let me stop talking. I'm getting really annoying. I'm really sorry about that. But y'all are my sisters. My sisters be sticking through. And I love y'all to death because y'all for real are like me. Like y'all. Like I posted, oh my gosh, on my Snapchat. One time I posted on my Snapchat. My Snapchat is in the description. I posted on my Snapchat this one time and somebody emailed me and was like, you're poor. And so <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing ever. So I posted it on my Snapchat and I was like, bro, what kind of email is this? And y'all are hilarious because y'all was like, girl, I can't. Like, girl, what? What just happened? And it was the way y'all was talking because that's how I talk and that's how I roll. And y'all are just hilarious because I genuinely thought it was funny. Like there's some emails that I get and I'm like, you did not take out your time to send me an email like that. No, you didn't. But you did. <laughs> I gotta go, y'all. I'm gonna meet y'all at Target. See, that's why we're wearing this coat, because we're bougie, because we're going to Target. I'm just playing. I like Walmart better, but Target has better stuff. But Walmart has better prices. I'm done talking. I'm gonna meet y'all there. Okay, sis, so I am now in Target, and I'm honestly just looking around at the clothes, because they always have new clothes. They never, like, keep the same clothes for a, while, for a while, which I love, because I'm always able to get, like, new stuff. I've already picked up, like, a few things. Look at this super cute love sweatshirt, and it's, like, really good quality. Like, the quality is bomb. Like, I feel like they're really definitely, they're really definitely upgrading their quality, for sure. And then, for, like, the body care videos, I love having, like, new bathing suits, and I found some really cute one pieces, because I like one pieces better, because they don't, like, fall off and stuff like that. They don't get, like, too loose in the water and stuff, so I do prefer that. And I think I really like this shirt. I feel like it's really cute because I wear everything with sweatpants and I feel like a tighter top with like loose bottoms is really cute. So I'm hoping they have like a small. Yeah, they have a small. Because every single time I buy an extra small, it's way too small and I end up getting home and being so mad at myself that I just wasted some money and I'm, I hate returning stuff. But I need to get on that, that train because I feel like returning stuff comes with like a lot of anxiety, but like I'm trying to get over that. Gotta, you know, talk to the Lord about it and give him, cast all our anxieties onto him. But, okay, no, I don't think I like it anymore because of, like, it's see-through. Like, those little parts are, like, see-through. Like, all over it, it's see-through. I can wear a tank top under it, though. A tank top wouldn't be too bad. Okay. Okay, I'll wear a tank top under it. I got a lot of tank tops I can wear, but I wish they sold more tank tops nowadays. Like, I don't really see a lot of tank tops anymore unless I go to, like, a TJ Maxx or, like, a tar not a Target. Um, a Marshalls, but mostly TJ Maxx. This is so cute. So, Hendrix. My niece's name is Hen Hendrix, but this Hendrix is so cute. My brother and sister came up with, like, the best names for their kids. I've never heard any of them. Actually, I have heard Ayla. Ayla is the only one that I have heard, and it's kind of common. Not common, but I've heard it. All of them have amazing names. Never heard of them. But it's, like, weird because every single time my sister does name her kids something really unique, somebody ends up trying to take it. And it's weird, <laughs> but that happens. That happens. But you know what? I really like this Hendrix hoodie. Like, it's really cute, so I think I'm going to get that. So. I think that's what we're gonna do. This is cute too though, but I bet you it's gonna go on sale soon. Like I got this one on sale and it's gonna be like half off. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff to look at you guys because I literally have not been shopping in a while. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this Care Bears hoodie. No, I missed it. I did not come, I didn't come early enough. They had the full Care Bears outfit and I missed it, you guys. I'm so mad. I am so mad. Look at this junk. They have the Care Bears sweatpants, but I'm not an extra small. And then they have the extra small top. 
Are you joking? These are so cute. I kind of want to just make it work because it doesn't seem like it's too small. Like, I feel like I can actually fit this outfit. I don't know. I think I want to make it work because it's Care Bears. And, like, I haven't seen Care Bears stuff in so long, but I love Care Bears. I'm not seeing, like, too many clothing items that I want, but, I mean, I got a good amount already, though. I do have a good amount. I really like this leotard. This leotard is super cute, like, to wear with, like, some sweatpants and a jacket. This is cute. But they don't have a small, and I feel like an extra small is too small, so, and the medium would be too big, because I still want it to be snug. Dude, I found another Sherpa coat, and it's literally $12, and it goes with my actual outfit. Like, this is, like, look at this. This goes way better with my outfit. Oh, my gosh, $12? What size did I get this one in, though? Let me check and see what size I have this coat in. Okay, so mine is in a small, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a small. These are cute, and they actually keep you warm. And look at these two backpack purses I just found. They're so cute. Look at this. It's like a purse, but it's also a backpack that are on sale. And then I also got this one, which looks more like a purse. Super cute. I have been kind of getting into more bags lately. If you are on TikTok, you have totally seen these. These new Monday Moisture Shampoo and Conditioners, they're so cute. I have to pick them up. Like, this is adorable. So they have them here, and I'm going to get them. Like, I'm actually really excited because of the packaging. Like, I am a sucker for packaging. Like, that's just me. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those two up. You guys ought to see me in this store. I'm getting all these super cool hair products because hair care is like super important to me. So I'm getting like all these hair growth serums and oils. I got like some rice water split in therapy because my ends are not the best. Um, they look great when I'm, when my hair is curly, which it always is. But when I blow dried it recently, when my mom blow dried it, it didn't look the best. And then I've been seeing this on TikTok to help grow your hair. So I got those three. But I'm also seeing that they have like these buy one, get one 50% off um, my yale products. And I really want to try these. So they have this new, I don't think this one's buy one, get one 50% off. Because it's like the new rice water stuff. But they have this rice water clay mask that I want to try out. They have a deep conditioner. And they even have like a rosemary mint strengthening hair mask. And I definitely want to get get these especially because they're buy one get one 50 percent off right now but rice water this seems like it'll be a really good product it doesn't come with much but i want to try it out they have a deep conditioner it doesn't really come with much product though so maybe i should just get the shampoo and then the hair mask because you can use hair mask as a conditioner but just leave it in for longer they even have this new josie curls line for curls which is actually a very affordable line which is amazing I haven't tried it yet though so i can't review it but they have hair and scalp oil as well so that seems really cool i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up as well y'all i'm going crazy in the store but you know what we're shopping we're shopping oh i'm gonna try this out as well this is camel rose cocoa nibs and honey hair growth serum and then you guys already know i'm a huge fan of shea moisture i love their jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore shampoo works amazing and i kind of want to try out the power greens shampoo and conditioner so honestly i think i'm gonna pick those up as well love shea moisture i am obsessed with shea moisture this new pacifica dream moon perfume smells just like the ariana grande cloud perfume oh my gosh that smells really good but i already have the ariana grande cloud perfume two of them so i don't need that but i love pacifica they smell super, some of them smell super good i don't want to say all because they don't but i have the vanilla bourbon mix bar perfume and body spray they're sold out of that one though but this wood elixir is also really good it smells super amazing and they're actually pretty affordable I think they're like 20 something dollars yeah. but they're really good they smell super good and they actually last so this new mix bar line is really good but personally my favorite is the vanilla bourbon and then the wood elixir if you like short nails you have to try out these acrylic um, nails they look just like acrylics and you basically just like paint them and they're squared off and you just like square them off a little bit more to get that tab off of it and then I also, I'm also going to pick up these Jelly Fantasies coffin nails, but these are amazing. These really look like real acrylics, and you just press them on. They lasted me for like a week, and I just painted them, and they looked amazing. And you can like take the nail polish off and repaint them. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up some press-ons, because they're way easier. Like I paint my nails like every three to four days, and it's a lot of work, and you can just wear some press-ons, and then go back to painting your nails, but I definitely suggest those. Those are bomb. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up some nail polishes, because Essie is my top favorite. I only have like nine right now, but they have these ex expressies and they're supposed to dry, they're supposed to dry faster. I'm going to check these out, but I'm definitely going to pick up some more nail polish because I love Essie. Essie is amazing and they have the cutest colors. I want to check out some more dark colors because I actually like the recent color that I did and it was actually dark. That's kind of cute. It's like a purplish. It's kind of cute. I like that. And then I also like really light colors. Okay, so these are the colors that I chose. I really like these. They're really different. I have never seen these colors before in anybody's hands. So I'm going to try these out and they're the expressies so they're supposed to dry faster. 
because it usually takes me like an hour and 45 minutes to dry my nails almost two hours and then i need to get some nail polish remover because i have this one right now but i kind of want this one because it's strengthening if it'll focus because i go through nail polish remover very fast if i'm doing my nails like every three to four days um i definitely give my nails breaks to where i'm like taking the nail polish off and just putting like hardeners even though i do put a hardener and conditioner under them just sometimes it's good to like leave your nails alone and just like put like uh, oils and stuff on them but i think i honestly should get like a nail bag because i don't have any space for my nail polishes right now and this one is only 12.99 and i think this would be a good idea to get like a nail bag because i had a nail bag before i moved and i can't find it so i'm just gonna go ahead and get another one so that's what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna try out this venus um new razor for like pubic hairs or whatever men's razors are the best especially the gillette pro, pro, pro glide but it doesn't hurt to try this so i'm gonna definitely try this and see how i like it one of the best shave creams to use though when shaving is this brazilian shave syrup it is super amazing i'm telling you guys you have to try it out it's bomb and you get it at target but they also have their own website this really helps with like um ingrown hairs and like um razor bumps and stuff so that's amazing definitely suggest that I'm not a big like dress wearer like I don't really wear dresses like that unless it's like a really unique dress like I bought all these dresses last summer and didn't really wear them because we were like in quarantine and stuff but this one is gonna be super cute for like the the summertime like it's so like old school and different and cute so I want to get that and then I found this cute like little sweater type of thing I feel like it kind of like goes with my look so I kind of want to get that as well I'm back in the clothing section yes y'all already know I kind of like those I feel like those would be really cute as well I just need more cool sweatpants now y'all know I have not been into like the jeans like jeans have just not really been my best friend lately because I just haven't been really liking them but these I'm seeing they have them my size and they look really loose and I'm like this shirt could go with it this Dicky shirt could go with it I'm trying to get my summer clothes ready but I could even wear it now I don't really have any shoes to go with them I definitely need to go shoe shopping soon but I feel like this Dicky shirt is super cute and it can go with the jeans as well as this sweatshirt this sweatshirt is really cute as well I like them when they get tight at the wrist and kind of more tighter at the waist and then they go with like jeans like that wait a minute baby because i got in target and forgot i wasn't rich i got in target and forgot i wasn't rich i got in target and forgot i wasn't rich i'm not even gonna tell you how much i spent i'm not even gonna tell you because i'm not very proud of it how you forget you ain't rich i think i was just grabbing stuff not really looking at the prices but but i mean let's be real it wasn't no budget shopping spree it wasn't no budget side lip, hmm? it was a no budget shopping spree i mean let's be real sis you know what it's tiktok's fault because they be showing me all these cool things and i'm like oh i gotta get that but then it's my fault at the same time because i'm grabbing it so and i didn't even grab no dang coffee i don't know what was going on i didn't even get i didn't even get the things that i needed but i got the things that i wanted oh i hate taking off my mask because my face be so dry y'all my face be so dry but i be trying to make sure my, my masks are like washed and stuff because like i be trying to spray first i spray out alcohol on it and then i get some dr barnes soap unscented and i wash them rinse them wash them again rinse them so that's my little mask washing process i should have bought more masks but um all right you guys so i'm getting ready to clean my room and my bathroom and stuff but i just got done cleaning the floor like putting some microband this microband is great for killing germs but basically she's sick and i'm trying to like quarantine her away from the rest of the family so you see this girl coughing um basically i got her like some painting stuff because she was at my aunt's house and they were gonna paint and i picked her up not knowing that they were gonna paint so ayla was crying and stuff she was upset that she couldn't paint and so i'm like okay i'm just gonna go get her some stuff to paint and color and stuff so i got her these three little paints and i'm just gonna let her paint in her coloring book so i'm basically just gonna like put something on this side to weigh it down so she can keep it open and i just put it on the towel so she don't get it on my floors but she was really upset so i'm like okay i'm just gonna get her some stuff to see her voice is cracked and junk because she's sick anyway i gotta start cleaning i want to make sure that i keep things disinfected in here though because i don't know when, when people are sick like i get weird about stuff like that and so yeah i'm about to have her do some painting and then while she's painting i'm gonna go ahead and clean up my room and stuff you know my room y'all my room is disgusting right now but i've been so busy with school like school is like an all-day thing and then after school and i have these assignments coming up next week so i'm like you know focused but i gotta do something with that hair too i mean it's not too bad but I need to do something with it. Anyway, she got stickers in here too, but what do you want to paint first? You got the Trolls, you got Shopkins. This is mine. I'm going to color that. Okay, um, figure out which one you want to paint. Figure out um, which... You want to just paint paint the first picture? All right, cool. It just, this just stays down. I ain't even got to weigh it down. All right, y'all. I'm about to get her all set up with these little things. And then I bought this little thing right here so I can put her paints and stuff in there. She was being a brat the other day, and so I was getting on her head and so she was like you're the worst tt ever <laughs> you're a terrible tt oh how dare you so i can cry because she thinks she's grown and today i bought her paint so now i'm the best tt oh she said you're the best tt i said i thought i was the worst tt oh but you bought me paint so that's why i'm like 
Okay, so since I bought you something, now I'm... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, do your thing. Use these and do your thing. And don't mix the paints either, okay? Do your thing and don't get nothing on your clothes. Yo, I gotta clean this dang room. Look at this room. It's back to crazy. Y'all, I'm a mess. I am a mess. My skin is red because of this dang acne. You're still cute if you have acne. That's it. And you're still cute. And who's gonna tell you what? I had bought some soap. My favorite. One of my favorite Dove soaps. Um, this is the pear and aloe vera scent. It smells super good. I haven't seen it in a while. And so when I seen it, I was like, let me get it. I picked up these flushable toddler wipes because they're unscented. And I can use them on my downstairs area and stuff. And then you guys already knew that I picked, picked up those Monday shampoo and conditioners. That pubic hair razor. You guys basically seen everything, but I am obsessed with this Care Bear outfit. It's cute. It's cute. Hold on. Maybe I should like pull them up a little bit more and like, I don't know, but I really like it. It's different and it's cute. Okay. My room is a mess. Do not judge me. Let's see what this little girl. Okay. Do not mind that mess. It's crazy, but it's so cute, but you're making a mess and it's like, what are you doing? See, we have to let the pages dry. Oh, well, and you need to be painting on the floor. So move those paintbrushes and put this on the floor because you're gonna get it on your clothes. This was one of those perfumes I was telling you guys about earlier. This is the vanilla bourbon. It smells super good. My mom bought me this, this freaking lighter off of Amazon. You push it up and then it goes like that. It's charged, so you have to charge it, it's rechargeable. And then it's like a fire, I mean like a flame or whatever. I don't know. This girl done cleared out this thing of chips. See, look, that's my fault. I done went out and got this girl some snacks. She's sick, just sleeping. She's so cute. She was watching her little phone. She got this little phone. My mom used to have this phone or whatever. She'd just be watching her little phone. She likes Amazing World of Gumball. Look, we all like Amazing World of Gumball, but ain't she so cute? We're just sleeping. She didn't move. She need to move her big head self though, because I gotta I'm trying to lay down too. Shoot. Anyway, I bought these pajama pants earlier, like in the men's section at Target. Didn't show those, but yeah, they're cute. But she has a mess of my bathroom right now. Just a mess, just a mess. So it's good to be an aunt. It's good to be a TT. So glad that I'm an aunt and not a mom because being a mom is just like, yo. But it's good to be able to give a kid back. That's the great thing about being an aunt. That's a good, I need to get my lashes done, but I have been so busy that I'm probably not gonna be able to get them done for a minute. Not like a minute, but like, cause I usually get them done on the weekends. So I'm probably gonna have like another week. I'm gonna be like bald eyelash by the time I go back in, but. I'm gonna have to get a whole full set. I'm just gonna have to like book for a full set because by the time I get back there, it's not gonna be a fill, it's gonna be like a full set. Anyway, so honestly, after the first semester, I was so done with school. Like I was just like, I cannot do this no more. Like I'm getting like so annoyed. The next semester came and I'm like, okay. I was so like overwhelmed, but I was, if you guys hear her snoring, that's Ayla, she snores. Anyway, so like the, ne the next semester came and I'm so glad that the next semester came because it got me back on my feet. But yeah, my grades were really high, like obviously, like I keep my grades really high, but I was just like losing motivation. And so the second semester, the second, the second semester came came and I was attending my I was attending my classes and I had like I have two new classes I have like a law and order class and then I have like what is it called it's like an econ class I don't know what it is but it's like really weird graded and she was like I'm gonna tell you guys this right now she was like this class is gonna be so hard on you if you do not attend every single one of these classes if you do not pay attention in this class this class is gonna be very hard on you so I'm like oh shoot reality check so I started to stress out I had to for real for real buckle down and be like okay and this is the type of class that you need to graduate. These credits are required to graduate. Obviously I'm gonna do it, but I'm just saying, like it's a really big deal, it's a really big deal. And so I'm like, okay, so I buckle down and, and I'm so glad because it's my very last class of the day. So it keeps me on my feet the whole entire day because I know my last class is very serious. So it keeps me on my feet. And then, first of all, my very first class is one of my new classes and my very last class is one of my new classes. So my very first class is extremely hard. My very last class is extremely hard. So it keeps me on my feet throughout the day. It balances it out. And so I basically got my motivation again because I got new classes. And if you do not focus, baby, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. If you try to take the easy way out, your life is going to be hard. If you try to take the harder way out, which is always the best way and you buckle down, life will be easier. Ooh, good morning, girl. I'm looking crazy. My eyes look puffed up because I just literally woke up. Ooh, hold on. I'm still trying to like wake up so you know hold on so a girl snoring in the back she kept me up what wait a minute i'm trying to figure out what time did i go to sleep like two or three o'clock in the morning so that's why i'm looking crazy as well she went to wake up at like one o'clock in the morning like 12 o'clock and did not go back to sleep till like three o'clock in the morning oh you want to wake up now oh that's nice yeah anyway girls so i'm about to go ahead and put in this blueberry and mint tea hair growth and scalp treatment on my scalp before i do my hair if it wants to focus my goodness. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try out this rice water collection split and therapy, but they say apply it from the root to the tip. And I'm like, what? I thought it was just for the split ends, but okay, I mean, I'll do what I gotta do. So I'm about to go ahead and take out this little bun and put it in my hair. Yo, tell me why. Y'all, first of all, this is weird. And you can really see it when my ring light is on. 
Tell me why, and I ordered another one. So dumb. I started using this, this Epiclar Duo Dual Action Acne Treatment, like I showed in my recent one of my like my vlog, my drive from store to store with me. I bought this at Target. It's like a benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. The biggest mistake I ever made. First of all, that was really dumb. Because let me tell y'all something, it bleached my face. It bleached my face and I haven't even used it for the full two weeks. I haven't even used it for like a full two weeks yet. Like it will make two weeks tomorrow. I put it on my face last night and then I realized my face was bleached when I was looking at my video and I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I kind of realized it in my recent video. And so I rinsed off all of it that was on my face and I'm never using it again because it literally bleached my face. Like, I cannot believe this junk. See, I'm not about to sit up here and play. That's crazy, y'all. So I gotta get my color back. Like, what is going on? Sis, what is happening? I know tan and meds are, like, not the best, but this is what it's gonna have to be. Because I gotta get my color back. Like, it has, like, bleached my skin. And, like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't like being, like, too, too pale. Like, I'm naturally pale. But, like, now, like, a bad pale. Like, this pale is, is like, the type of pale... Nah. Is like the type of pale that looks like bleach pale, like like bad pale. Like the camera's not really giving me justice. Like it's giving me justice, but not giving me justice for me to like to show you guys. But girl, I'm mad about it. I'm sorry. Hold on, I gotta get some space off my camera because I only got four minutes of SD card memory left. Anyway, so y'all know I'm just putting this all over my scalp. They say to put it like all over your scalp or whatever. So that's what I'm trying to do. I kind of overdo like scalp treatments and like scalp oils just because like i want to make sure that it gets everywhere and i'm always like paranoid that it didn't so i don't know you're not supposed to rinse this out though obviously because i like to keep my oil in usually when i have first tried to put an oil on my hair like in my um and doing oil treatments like on my scalp and stuff i would rinse them out the next morning because i would put it in the night before now i'll leave it in for like a day or two and then I go ahead and wash my hair. Yo, tell me why I had this acne video on my channel two years ago. Tell me why I put it on private because I was like embarrassed about it because I cried in it. I don't know. And I watched it last night because I'm, I'm able to watch my, my, my private even though none of my videos are on private. I think two of them are. Um, I went back and watched it and it was basically like encouraging people that have acne and it encouraged my own self and I'm feeling pretty good And so I put it back on public so that people can see it because it really did help me last night So it was cool that I went back and watched it. Sometimes I have to go back and watch my own videos But I'm so glad it doesn't stink because rose, I mean rice water smells disgusting Disgusting. I'm just gonna put it like a little bit in my hands and they say put it from the roots to the tip, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Get a little bit more of that. And what are you looking at me for? And put it like all in my hair until I get it to the tips. I'm gonna put a lot on my ends. I'm, I'm not even gonna, they say put a dime size and then put it from the roots to the tips. That's not even possible. It's like if my hair was like this short. Just put it from the roots to the tips, like a dime size? Like that's not. I can't stand when curly hair products say a dime size. Baby, you. If you formulated this product, you need to know that that's not even true. Like, how is that even possible? I'm just gonna put it all throughout my hair, and I'm gonna put my hair back in a bun. Because I like my hair in a bun. And I'm trying... Okay, so I don't notice that washing my hair a lot damages my hair. It Like, I don't see a dip. Like, I don't think it does, but... I've been watching a lot of hair care videos and stuff, and they're saying, like, it'll help your hair grow even faster. Like, if you stop washing it so much, and I'm like... I used to only wash my hair once a week, and I don't even know how I did that. I'm about to go ahead and put some of this coconut and Manoi uh, Design Essential stuff in there. What do you say, big kid? I'm just going to put it all throughout my hair. I've been putting this in my hair every day since I started doing this bun again because when you put gel and, like, hairspray in your hair, it will definitely dry out your hair, sis. So we can't be doing that. I can't wait till I have a bigger bathroom to where I can set y'all up on, like, a bigger area. And, like, we're working on it, sis. The Lord is working on it. Look, the Lord is working on it. Girl, if you're about to get a new car, or if you're about to get a new place, please put it in Jesus' hands. Please, because let me tell you something. Every single time I put it in the Lord's hands, he takes us straight to where we need to be. The first time we moved, what happened was our tire popped on the highway. I mean, not on the highway, on the, on the road. I vlogged it, too. And we was, we was going to, okay. Oh, my gosh. See, our faith, okay. We wanted to move out of the hood. But we were about to move right into another hood. I don't know. It was bad. But the rent wasn't bad at this place. So my mom was like, okay, we'll go check it out. And it was not as cute as our house that we had. But we're trying to move or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. The Lord did not want us there. So our tire popped. So we couldn't make it to the appointment to go look at the house. My brother was like, oh, I have roadside assistance. I can call. He lived out in Detroit at the time. He said, I'll call and have them come to you. Put your spare tire on or whatever. And then they did that. Anyway, something happened. My mom called my uncle and he told her, you got to go to this place to go get your tire done. Like, I'll pay for it. Something like that. I forgot. So we went to that place. And as we're driving to the place, I'm seeing these apartments and I'm like, 
there were townhouses. They had townhouses and apartments. People always think that townhouses are ghetto, but these were actually really nice townhouses. Um, and I was like, those are nice. Like, those are nice. Blah, blah, blah. So we get our tire done, and we come back out, and I'm like, I was looking at those, Mom. And she was like, these are really nice. So my mom drives in there, and we go into the office. And they basically let us look at some places. They were beautiful. And my mom signed a lease. And they were really nice. Perfect place to be at the time. Well, I think two years later, I'm like, I don't really want to live here anymore. There was more problems starting to happen. This place was on the news. It was good when we first moved in, but then the place ended up being on the news because they weren't fixing people's heat. Like, stuff wasn't up to date. Stuff was getting bad. Like, it was pretty, but it wasn't good. So I'm like, I'm about to move my family out. At this time, now I have money. Now I'm able to move my family out. So I move my family to where we are today. So I'm looking for, like, luxury places to live because I just want to move my family out to a nicer area where I'm not scared where we're at, you know? Like, it was a nice place, but it was still located not in the best place when we first got there it was a better place but then it started to go downhill and the area just wasn't the best and so i'm like no let me move my family and we're closer to where i want to be so we're here and the best decision i've ever made and we prayed about it and prayed about it and once again we went and looked at some places that we were not supposed to be looking at like this is not what the lord wants for us he doesn't want us to downgrade he wants us to upgrade and i knew it but it was just like you know, I don't know. No, the problem was we couldn't find any four bedrooms. We were trying to upgrade from a three to a four and all of the places that had four bedrooms were not nice. But this place had four bedrooms because we have four people. So we're looking at places and they just were not working out. So my mom goes on something. I forgot what she went on. And it was like, you don't need to look no more. You found your place. And my mom was like, okay, okay, hold on. So we pull up to this place and just to come look at what it's looking like or whatever. And I'm like, mom, these are so beautiful. Like this is the, I've never seen it, something like this where we live at. I've never seen it because I've always lived in the hood. We've always lived kind of like not in the best places. Never seen something like this. When you pull up, it looks like a beach house. Like it looks like vacation i was like hold on mom we gotta get this place like i really want it like i really want it and so i prayed about it and prayed about it and prayed about it but our lease was up at a certain time and they were like it's perfect your lease is up in the month that we're bringing you in that we can bring you in so bam right there i already knew because our lease was up on like a weird month and like they're like oh that's the only time we can get you in is on that month i'm like hold on so we got this place and then i prayed about my car and I'm like looking at all these cars in there and they're not like the best years, but they could have worked, you know, but I, my mom wanted me to be in an SUV because they're more safe. Like if you were like to crash, like it is more safe, but I was looking at SUVs and I didn't like any of them. And I came across my car and it's a used car, but it's 2018 and it was 2020 when I found it and it was made in like September of 2019. So it's not even three years yet. Brand new car, barely any miles on it beautiful interiors popping everything is beautiful in the car and it was the car now the lord's like i think it's time for you guys to move again so i don't know how this is gonna work out but i definitely gotta get my own place um not because i don't want to live with my mom because i literally love my mom like i just i love living with my mom she's like my best friend but it's just it gets difficult when there's not enough space and i want to film and stuff and like it's just you know so i'm gonna be moving now and getting my own place and i plan on getting my mom another place as well um to be more closer to me because she's more like i want to be by my little girl and i am like that as well like i want to be by my mom and my brother because if some junk kicked down which is not in the mighty power for the name of the lord jesus christ my family is honestly not really to play with like i'm just I'm, like i'm not saying that and like oh my family is crazy like i can't i can't stand people be like i'm gonna go get my like girl please don't get them involved but i'm just i'm just honestly being honest like my dad was known in my city i've had teachers be like your dad's who they see my last name and was like was your dad and i was like yeah they was like what yo he was known he was in newspapers he was the captain of the football team prom king i mean he was known everywhere i grew up in a very scary household because he was honestly kind of like a monster and the drugs didn't make it any better and the alcohol <clears throat> and like some junk kicked down in my neighborhood one time this boy was talking crap to my little brother I mean, not my little brother my older brother but like he was little but he's my older brother why did i even say my little brother some junk kicked down this teenage boy was like he said something to my little brother while my brother was riding his bike and my brother was like what did you just say to me but he's little and so he was like okay i'm gonna have to get my dad and so he was like i'll go get my dad and so my dad comes out and was like go get your dad so he goes and gets his dad no this is what he said i remember this happened the boy said my dad you don't want my dad to come out and i'm like oh no you're playing the game you don't want to play like my dad's actually 
Anyway, so drunk kicked down. Not gonna get into details, but the whole neighborhood knew from that day on my dad was not to be messed with. I remember him coming in the house, and I don't want to get into details because like I don't want to get in trouble with my mom. And she's like, "You're telling too much information on YouTube." But he's dead now, so it's like, what? So he came in the house and was washing his hands. And he's washing his hands, and I'm like, Dad, are you bleeding? He was like, that's not my blood. I'm like, oh, shoot. Anyway, so you guys get the point. You guys get the gist. Yo, I never even put gel on my hair since I'm sitting up here talking to y'all. It's not y'all fault, though, obviously. But, like, what are you doing? It's good to get to know me a little bit, though, you know? Like, I won't get too into details, you know? But it's great to get to know a little bit more about me and myself. So God bless you all in Jesus' name, and it's time for you to go to go.